Welcome to this short service of thanksgiving for the harvest. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it. When we listen to the hymn, we plough the fields. As our lovely St. Thomas's Church is sadly closed once again, let us join together to pray in thanksgiving for the harvest and thanksgiving for all the people on our island and to pray for all those living with the COVID-19 illness or with grief or loneliness. And indeed, in this most recent days, let us pray particularly for those people on the island who now are infected by COVID or who are worrying greatly about family members or indeed fear of it spreading. A harvest blessing from Iona. O angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. O saints of these parts, bless the Lord. O servants of Christ, who here sing God's praises, bless the Lord. O kindly folk of this place, bless the Lord. O sheep and cattle, O lambs that gamble on the green, bless the Lord. O fish that glisten in the waters, bless the Lord. O flowers that gem the earth with colour, bless the Lord. O fruits of the earth that feed the hungry, bless the Lord. O all works of the Lord, bless the Lord. Let us pray for God's forgiveness. Father, the good things of your earth shout out your praise. Forgive us that our lives may not always speak of gratitude. Father, have mercy. Lord, 
these good things are denied to people in other parts of your earth. Forgive us for pollution, for neglect and for greed. Lord, have mercy. Spirit, these good gifts would not be here unless their seeds of life had nurtured in the rhythm of God's earth. Forgive us for trying to be what we are not and for resisting your rhythms. Spirit, have mercy. A reading from Psalm 65, verses 5 and 6 and 9 to 13. By awesome deeds you answer us with deliverance, O God of our salvation. You are the hope of all the ends of the earth and of the furthest seas. By your strength you establish the mountains. You are girded with might. You visit the earth and water it. You greatly enrich it. The river of God is full of water. You provide the people with grain, for you have prepared it. You water its furrows abundantly, settling its ridges, softening it with showers and blessing its growth. You crown the year with your bounty. Your wagon trains overflow with richness. The pastures of the wilderness overflow. The hills gird themselves with joy. The meadows clothe themselves with flocks. The valleys deck themselves with grain. They shout and sing together for joy. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Collect for Harvest Thanksgiving Eternal God, you crown the year with your goodness and give us the fruits of the earth in their season. Grant that we may use them to your glory and for the relief of those in need and for our own well-being. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, in these difficult times when we cannot gather together for worship, we pray for all our loving community, wherever they may currently be. We pray that they may stay safe and well and be aware of your love and support surrounding them at all times. In your mercy, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the community of families and friends here on our island and throughout the world. We pray especially today for those who have been affected by COVID here on the island, for their families, for the villages, for the communities, for all the elderly or those whose health is not the strongest who may now be living in fear as well. We pray for those who are grieving for loved ones who have died, for those fearful for the well-being of those they cannot meet or see, and for all those experiencing difficulty in health or in their businesses. In your mercy, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those in the medical professions who are working so hard to keep us safe and to get us through this pandemic. We pray for the doctors and nurses in the hospitals, for all the nurses and care workers in the nursing homes, for the care workers calling to people in their homes, for the paramedics, the ambulance drivers, and all the staff within the hospitals or any medical facility. We pray, Lord, that you would keep them safe, give them strength, and above all, love them for the huge work that they are doing for us all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us now take a moment just to pray in silence for our own intentions.
In your mercy, Lord, hear our prayer. We make all these prayers in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us join together in the prayer given us by your Son, Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The final blessing. Bless to us, O God, the moon that is above us, the earth that is beneath us, all creatures who are around us, your image deep within us. And the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with us and remain with us always. Amen. And we finish with that other lovely harvest hymn for the fruits of his creation. <laughs>